Are you in pain right now? Is your tooth hurting? Did you just have any kind of surgery or procedure done? Pay attention because we used to be able to call the pharmacy and say, hey, I'm gonna need my patient to come by and pick up a, a pain pill prescription. We can't do that anymore. They have changed the laws so we can no longer call in pain medications. You have to physically come from our office with a unique piece of paper that allows for that. So what do you do if it's over the weekend, at night? What if it's not bad enough to need pain pills but you need some help and Advil's just not cutting it? Well, here's some easy over-the-counter uh, pain control instructions that you can do at home that you can get from any pharmacy or grocery store out there. So um, the first thing is if you have kidney problems or if you have liver problems, please take note that these instructions do not apply to you because ibuprofen, which is also known as Advil or Motrin, that is a kidney metabolized drug. Tylenol is a liver metabolized drug. So if you have problems with either of those organs, don't do this. Um, also, if you're taking Tylenol, you cannot take alcohol or drink alcohol at the same time. It's really, really dangerous. The leading cause of acute liver failure is somebody taking Tylenol after a hangover or while they're drinking. So be careful with that, okay? So the, the quick rundown is if you're just hurting, ibuprofen or Advil, 400 milligrams. That's two pills from your normal over-the-counter bottle. That's all you need. But what if you actually just had a procedure done where there may be some swelling involved, or you're actually having swelling and you haven't gotten treatment yet? That needs 600 milligrams to actually be effective. So that's three pills from the normal Advil or ibuprofen bottle. That's every six hours. So the easy way to remember ibuprofen is 400 every four hours, 600 every six hours, and you can do 800 every eight hours. 800 every eight hours is great if you're going to bed or something where you know you won't be able to redose pretty soon, but it doesn't do anything more effective than the 600. So people that come in telling me, I've been taking 15 Advil every day kind of thing, like be careful, you know, like you're, you're probably overdoing it and it's not an actual effective way to take it. What you really wanna do is take the 600 milligrams of ibuprofen every six hours. Three hours into that, take a dose of Tylenol. When I say a dose of Tylenol, I'm not telling you a milligrams right now because I don't know what Tylenol bottle you have at home. Tylenol comes in different forms. Read the bottle and take it as directed on the bottle. So do whatever it says on the bottle and stagger them. So you're taking your ibuprofen, then two to three hours later, you take that dose of Tylenol. Two to three hours later, you're due for your ibuprofen. Two to three hours later, you're due for your Tylenol. They have a synergistic effect. That means when they're both in your system at the same time, they're much more powerful than the, just the two of them combined. So it's actually about as pain killing as effective as codeine which people don't really perceive because you're not having that painkiller feeling, you're not getting any drowsiness or a buzz or anything like that, but it's super, super effective. So if you're hurting, make sure to stagger them, make sure to read the label so you're taking them safely, and you can get a lot of relief from this.